Hello everyone, my name is Liam Sorter. I'm a developer evangelist here at Amazon, and today we'll be covering exactly what content recommendations are and how you can integrate them into your own Fire TV applications. We've also linked a PDF in the description down below with a step-by-step -step guide of the integration process, along with some code samples for you to use in your own projects. So what are content recommendations? Well, when browsing the Fire TV homepage, you may see a row called recommended by your apps. These could be movies, shows, music, or even games. These pieces of content are delivered by the application when the Fire TV boots up. This is achieved by sending out a rich Android notification, which is a means of providing deeper context to notifications sent from an app. The key pieces of data that the user will see is your app name, the title of your content, the description, a thumbnail, and what kind of action the user can take. Now, before we get into exactly how content recommendations work, there are a couple of prerequisites we'll need to know in order for a recommendation row to appear. Firstly, there must be at least five recommendations sent out across all of the user's apps, including yours. And secondly, the user must not have parental controls set on their account. If either of these conditions are met, then the recommendations row will not appear. Here we can see that I've built and installed a Fire TV app for streaming some of our developer content hosted in an S3 bucket. And to make sure nobody misses our latest videos, I'm going to integrate some content recommendations. We'll start off with the rich notification itself. To start building this, we need to create a notification manager by casting the system's notification service. Next, we'll need an ID for our notification. This will be useful for us later when we want to either update the recommendation or delete it completely, say after the content's been deleted. With those two variables set, we're going to create a content recommendation object. Here we'll include all the information we mentioned earlier, from our text to our title, even including the maturity rating of the content. So with our content recommendation initialized, we can create the notification itself by calling get notification object and setting that to a new variable called notification. From here, we're going to add Amazon enhancements. This is the explicit data that the recommendation engine will use when rendering our tile. We can even include tags such as whether the content is 4K, listen to customer rating, and even a direct IMDB link. For a full list of enhancements, check out the link on screen now and in the description down below. All that's left now is to call our manager's notify function and pass through our ID and the notification object itself. If you want to then remove or cancel this notification later on, we can call the cancel function on the manager, passing through the same ID we just used. Now I'm going to go ahead and deploy this build to our device using ADB. If you're not familiar with ADB, then check out the link in the description down below for a full walkthrough on how to get started with deploying your Android builds over Wi-Fi. So now that we've deployed our app, we need to go into the developer menu by holding down the center and down buttons on the directional pad for five seconds, and then hit the menu button. With the developer tools menu open, scroll down and toggle both developer options and the developer row. We'll also clear our current recommendations just to make sure we're getting the most up-to-date notifications. With all of those set, we can now close out this menu and restart our device. Now let's open up our app and stream some content for about five minutes. Now when we head back into the main menu of Fire TV, we can see our shiny new video being recommended. Now that we've implemented recommendations, let's take a look at some of the best practices for you to bring the best customer experience possible. Starting with personalization, you want to make sure that the notifications you're sending to users are relevant to them. This could consist of recommending new episodes of a show that's previously been watched, picking up from where they originally left off on a show, or even just related content. You also want to make sure that you're deleting stale cards like we covered earlier. It wouldn't make sense to recommend content that the user's already engaged with or shown little interest in previously. It's also important to keep in mind that apps do have a notification limit of 50, so make sure you don't go over this or your content is not going to get pushed out. 
You also want to limit the amount of recommendations you're showing at once. If you overload the customer with too much content, it's likely to drive down engagement and not give them the best customer experience possible. And finally, you want to make sure your recommendations are being sent through as a background app. While there are many approaches on how to do this, using something like a native alarm manager is a simple way to make sure that you're keeping your content fresh. Also, if you have your own proprietary recommendation engine, you could integrate that into your Fire TV app by using web requests. Before we finish, we do have a few resources for you to take away, and you can find links to these in the description down below. First is the integration handbook. We built a short step-by-step -step guide on integrating content recommendations containing all of the code snippets and best practices. We also have all the information on content recommendations itself over on our documentation page. Here you'll find a detailed breakdown of how the feature works behind the scenes and get a good look at all of the Amazon enhancements that you can include within your notifications. Thank you for watching. We hope this tutorial was useful. If you are planning to add content recommendations to your apps or have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us at firetvdev-eu at amazon.com.